hi guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl tibera here as always as usual vlogging all the way from enugu the coast city state in the southeast of nigeria guys in today's episode i'll be taking you to abwani so that we can explore what's inside enugu law school abwani this law school is one of the numerous law schools in nigeria but it is situated in abwani community a community in Nkano local government area of enugu state this law school was also brought down here by the former governor, Dr. Chimaroke Inaman, and since then, a lot of people have passed through this law school and are doing well in their profession. So guys, we'll be going down to Abwani today to see what this law school looks like, to look at the infrastructure and other beautiful things that they may have there because I've never really been there. So this is me also making my debut visit to that school. And um, if you're a law student, I hope you find this very helpful. In case they post you to that school, you already have a clue what it looks like and what to expect and if you're not a law student like myself i hope you also find this vlog very interesting as you take a quick tour of the school and um look at what our community looks like in 2020 so without further ado guys let's hit the streets but before we enter the streets and head down to Abwani, i would like you guys to remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't like this video share with your friends and your family drop your comments tell me what you feel about this school in the comment section and i'll always be there to reply and to read all your nice comments but do not bring negativity to this vlog please i'm begging you in the name of god so guys without further ado let's hit the street and move down to our and law school <laughs> guys we are currently en route to the law campus we are in kano currently but i don't know the exact community we are in but one thing i know for sure is that we are close to abwani the same post ahead of us reads here is abwani the capital of nkano land so this is me saying welcome to abwani now let's keep going down now this road leads to the law campus abwani one thing you should know about this campus is that it's named after a former justice of the supreme court of nigeria augustine namani he was a native of abwani in enugu state so it is very proper that a law campus in his community is named after him and most of the buildings you see by the side are private hostels for the law students that is for those of them who do not want to live inside the campus okay now this is the main entrance into the school campus and like i told you this campus is officially and formally known as augustine namani campus abwani enugu so guys let's go in all right we are inside the school right now and um everywhere is looking greeny now let's start with the structure um the buildings you are seeing not so clearly from where i am filming from is the dining hall this is where the law students have their compulsory three dinner parties where they are taught dining etiquette and all that before they graduate now opposite this dining hall is a building that serves as a reading and lecture hall students who do not pass their bar exams take their lectures there so it's more like carryover students in regular university setting that structure very unique in shape and all that and in design is the main lecture hall so this is where all the law students receive their lectures so if you're planning on coming to this campus this is where you'd be taking your lectures and this entire place is known as the snake island i don't know the reason for that but it is what it is called and as you can notice there are sit outs built under the shade so students can either hang out there or read now looking at these structures here starting from the bungalow the bungalow is a hostel and it's known as blue roof while the story building is a male hostel it's also it's known as the snake island hostel so these are all hostels and in this campus there are various options for accommodation there are hostels that take up to six roommates these hostels are cheaper then there are those that take like um three or just two roommates these ones are way more expensive so whatever fits your lifestyle abwani campus is ready for you that is the medical center looking around there are amazing beautiful trees around and um, things that can compel you to read even if you don't like reading 
and of course there are some overgrown bushes i feel is as a result of the lockdown and school not being in session and all that still talking about the serenity of this place i mean i like it i like the fact that there are trees i like the fact that there are i think they are pro green life right <laughs> Yeah, pro green life and um and i like that now moving down we are heading towards the administrative block the building by my right is the administrative block it serves as offices for the lecturers and also for the campus library this is the area where you find all of that and um opposite there by my left are atm gallery for access bank and zenith bank so you don't necessarily need to leave the campus to have access to cash and all the transactions you want to make so guys as we are moving what do you think about this school have you been to other law schools does this look up to standard or below standard tell me what you feel about it in the comment section but for me i've never really been to any other law school so i can't say but one thing i like about this place is just the fact that there are a lot of green life going on here and that is good now these are houses for the staff so if this is the, um, the staff quarters where the lecturers and other staff live now this campus has a gym center which caters for the fitness of students those that are interested i'm not sure it's compulsory now it also has different canteens these canteens cater for the meals of the students you buy food from there students are not allowed to cook in their hostel i don't know if it's the same for every other law school in nigeria but this is what is obtainable in our and the law campus okay now there are other fields for football basketball and all that you are not allowed to go to that place because school is not in session and yeah welcome to vlogging in nigeria so guys this is where we call it a wrap for this tour like i promised you guys that it was going to be a very weak tour around the school and um yeah i did my best making it very summarized and all that so if you're a law student intending to come here this is what the abwane campus looks like and i hope it's somewhere you have fun i know a lot of people who went through this school and they had amazing experiences although a lot of people do not find it funny when they get posted to this place i don't know i think it's the whole stereotypical thinking of enugu and everything that concerns enugu but this is what it looks like and like i said i know people who went through this school who had very good times of their life here and i'm looking forward and hoping you have a good time while being serious with your academics so this is where we call it a wrap and i hope you enjoyed this very quick tour and um yeah do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't remember to share this video and i'll meet you outside the gate And as usual, there would always be someone very close to the school that would sell materials to students at very cheaper rates. I don't know if his rates are cheap, but that is the promise they always give us. And people like this would have past questions that dates back as 1960. Trust them, they have access to a lot of things. Well, this is what you get in Nigerian universities and Nigerian educational settings. And that statue is the statue of Namani Augustine yeah that is him over there and um talking about position of this law school it is in front of nkano west local government headquarters so that is nkano west local government headquarters it's actually looking fine guys nkano is one local government in enugu that has a lot of private institutions in it i'm talking about educational institutions if you look at that signpost madonna university has a campus here in nkano but in a community known as Abugo, so there is Madonna University. Then the second signpost reads Renaissance University. It is in a community called Uboka here in Nkano. So there are a lot of schools and educational businesses going on here in Nkano land. All courtesy of the former governor, Chimaroke Namani. He's from Nkano, so he did what he could do to attract a lot of these things to his people. So let's keep going down.
and until i come your way next time do have a wonderful day remember to subscribe to my channel that is very important and share this video these are the two most important things you owe me in this channel